El Toro Salvaje is a project that was bolted by Chris Sharma and it features this heinous first five meters, which in my opinion could be around 80 bolt brown by itself. Then you link quite awkward traverse into the crux of El Potro. That section could be 80 plus, 80 climbing by itself. And then there is a traverse into the crux of first round, first minute. That section I haven't even tried and I don't really know if that could be 8A plus boulder or maybe AB plus boulder or maybe even harder. No matter what, to link all of this together will be pretty insane and I think a 9C could be a good grade. Well, when I was hanging there at this bolt, it was obvious that the start would somehow go. It wouldn't be easy, but it would go. But then there is the right hand two finger pocket and then another pocket really, really far away. After a few minutes, I thought like, mm, there's probably no way I will ever do this move. But then I found my own strength. I could make this crazy far away ninja kick hit this slopey, slippery tufa with my left foot, make massive drop knee and due to that reach statically all the way into the slopey pocket. So after I found this sequence through this crux move, I was quite happy with that and I wanted to try to do the route using the easiest shortest top out through Bumaye, which could be a 9A plus 9B. So I decided to give it a real try. Sticking the feet from the ground is actually pretty hard and putting my left foot into the good pocket. Then some bumps on the bad too fast and then it's really hard to release your left foot from the big foothold. This bicycle, it's pretty tangy and you reach a good left hand crimp. But still, it's pretty easy to fall once you lose the tension. First tries made me quite surprised that the very beginning is more tiring than I thought and it definitely takes a lot of energy. So I got to the crux being not definitely pumped but less powerful than I was expecting. Entering the crux you place this right heel hook which is not so comfortable and you go for this ninja kick and hitting the tufa perfectly is just heinous. You don't only have to be powerful, but you really have to be precise and therefore also quite lucky. But obviously the stronger you are, the more luck you will probably have. For me, sometimes it's not about the aesthetics of the line itself, but sometimes I really do enjoy climbing on the routes that are somehow special in terms of movements. And this one is definitely really special. The movements here are pretty interesting and I absolutely love this ninja kick. And it's something that it's really hard and bizarre to find on the rock. I really enjoyed climbing on this line. I tried it for two days, but then the rain came and the two fuss here at the beginning got soaking wet and they didn't dry up until we left Margalef. I'm quite motivated to maybe return and at least finishing off the easiest variation via Bumaye. Then the 9C line 
I don't know if I will ever get motivated, but it's hard to tell. Maybe yes. <laughs>